welcome to cloud learning channel so today i am going to discuss about aws cognito service cognito service is a is a service which you can say like you can use it as a pool uh, user pool right and it gives you a lot of features so this is very popular service and very interesting service uh, what it do let me show you uh, there is some notes which i prepared for it and you can refer this one so this service basically provides use for authentication authorization and user management for your web and mobile apps so whatever the mobile app you have suppose you want to go for authentication authorization and user information right like for gaming apps or some other apps you can keep all the data in this cognito database uh, it provides you number of features like mfa and other other things like uh, so like the benefits are service automatically provides sign up and sign in service okay uh, you can use a built-in customized web interface for signing in users you can also use other sign-in providers such as facebook google or amazon right if you want to link with them uh, like if you want to authenticate with facebook google or uh, amazon you can use this you can use open id connect or saml service for that you have directory management and user profile management as well uh, you can also enable features such as mfa as i told you earlier okay so this is full full feature based uh, solution and it is very popular so let's see how it goes further uh, if you like this video and if you uh, like this topic please subscribe this channel and support this channel uh, by giving some like or hit uh, putting a comment there okay so if you go to this uh, console uh, now i just type cognito in services so you will find this service like this space okay and then you can find out the other options okay so again the benefits as i said that secure and scalable user directory social media connectivity right uh, standard based authentication security for your apps access control for aws resources easy integration okay if you want to see use cases add user directories in your app grant access to aws services now uh, there are two ways like you can add user directories to your app or you can grant access to aws services choose either way as per your requirement so suppose i go for add user directory to your app you need to create a user pool and this is like six, six step story and you can see like how much benefit it provides so step number one is configure sign in experience what you want to have so if you see there are two options like one is federated identity suppose you want to integrate with facebook google or you want to log in with amazon you can use federated one or you can use sign in with apple these options are available if you want to connect with some corporate directory you can use saml and you can connect open id also for the connectivity options federation option or you can use cognito user pool the native tools okay so both options are available now what kind of information you want for sign in so username email address phone number these are the normally information which is required right so username email and phone number all these three options are normally you like to take from users right one username email address and phone number then if you want to allow some preferred username you can use that and if you want to use username case sensitive you can use that one so both option you want if you want you can use that okay next step number two configure security requirements so now you can secure your environment like suppose you want to create your password policy right so like special one character one special character one uppercase one lowercase that kind of condition you can put or you can put on behalf of your easiness as well so custom rule is also possible the default one comes with eight characters and this multi-factor authentication if you want to enable right if you want to keep it optional you can do that no mfa that also you can do so you can depend you can decide upon as per your requirement now how mfa will happen it would be by app 
or it would be via SMS. So there are popular authentication applications such as Authy, Google Authenticator, Microsoft, all it supports. Or you can use SMS as well. So you can choose which option you want to give to user. Account recovery, how you want to recover, give the chance to user to recover the account recovery, right? So all complete sign-in experience, you can see that it will come up. So via email, via SMS, email or SMS both, email if available, otherwise SMS, SMS if available, otherwise email or both, right? So all options are available. Third step is sign in service. Okay, so how you can, how you want sign up, right? Enable self registration. So user can come and do the self registration. Attribute verification, right? How the verification will come. So one user sign up, one verification email will go. Normally this is the way, right? Like people used to do. This is the same way here also it works. It will send email message and it will verify. Or you can use SMS or you can use SMS if phone number is available otherwise email. So that depends upon your requirement, right? Then required attributes. So what information you need from user, right? Birth date, address, family name, gender, all such information if you need to add, you can add that, right? So when user will create, it will add these attributes as well along with phone number and email address along with this if you want to add some other information you can add that okay then message delivery how message will go okay so you can use amazon ses service or you can use cognito both way it will work okay uh, if you use if you use ses so you will provide ses detail or if you use cognito you can provide that one and no reply at the rate this will be your sender email address this will be your reply to address sms you can create right it will create for by default for you okay then give the pool name okay so test pool and you can use that one so this is simple like you can see that just give the pool name and you are good to go then the app which you want to configure right so if there is some other app custom app you can choose that and give the client details okay and you can you are ready to go so this is simple once the details is there you can create the pool okay see here and you can create the pool so this is very simple and easy way to create a pool and you can see like all the details would be there right and then you can configure it with your application and you will be able to see the all the details so now if you see right whatever the user information come you can create users there and it will come right groups you can manage them into groups sign in experience you want to change something you can do that sign up experience you can do that right user pool is this ARN number is this and you can use it with your application and you can easily utilize that one and this is again like identity pool you want to set up so you can set up the identity pool also to store end user identity to declare a new identity you can give the new name and again this would be simple so i hope now you get a some good idea about like how cognito pools this is the same thing right like uh, let me just try to go to the old one so that was the user pool So I hope you like this video and you understood like how user pool will work. I will try to cover identity pool in the next time that will. But here you can see do the things like app integration and all other things you can do. Like you can attach it with some cognitive domain or you can create custom domain and you can attach it with your application.
ओके गाइस सो थैंक यू फॉर वाचिंग दिस वीडियो विश यू वेरी गुड डे बाय